Hi guys, this is Sunday, September 1st, 2024, and I want to apologize up front. I tried to do this one on my regular Fujifilm Fine Picks camera, and somehow or another it's really giving me some trouble. So bear with me on the cell phone again. This is where I need some help with the videoing. Um, this, I bought some more canning jars. I think in the entire time since I have started this quote-unquote journey, I've only bought brand new jars, I think like three times. And thankfully, I got some, the half gallons, before they went up incredibly high in price. And now I check often, and they came down to, these are the half gallon. I got two of them, which is six in each one. I love the half gallon jars for the preserving, for my dehydrating, and even just the making dry good shelf stable. But the half gallon size was eleven forty seven each, so there's two of them. That's the exact same thing, eleven forty seven each. And then here's the quart size, two of them, and there's twelve in each one, so twenty four for twenty four ninety four total. There were twelve forty seven each. So this is just under fifty dollars with tax. And the other thing I'm going to show just for an example not in uh oh isn't she just a genius i picked out a few more items yesterday at dollar tree and i was going to buy another one of these but i did not these are just to give you ideas these are empty cans there's all kinds of and they're metal there's all kinds of things to put in um to use to do this let me see if i can tilt this bear with me I really need a partner. <laughs> um, I have had it on my thoughts to do this even long before now. And there's, these are just, you make it work for you. I bought this and I showed it on one of my videos for the recently for my last uh, Dollar Tree run, which is what this other stuff is over here. And I thought, I just want to put some items together. Not necessarily any particular order and I want to just shove it up under my car seat my driver's car seat so that I have them there so here's this that's about a foot wide or a foot long whatever 12 14 inches by maybe 10 inches this way and I thought that's kind of a good size and again I randomly I'm not trying to get the genius award but I just wanted to put some things in here it may be for me, or then again, you can tell by some of this, it may be I'm going to give this to someone before this is over with. And this will also be one of those things I can take things out, but whenever I'm on film, I cannot put them back. But I'll take these out one at a time. I chose a New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. You don't have to do that. Here's one of the sewing kits that I had bought last week. Here's... A box where am I a box of matches there's the container of um, safety pins here's my little first aid there's a lot of stuff in here as you will see I got I this is one of those little headlamps and it does work I'm leaving this little tab in there to keep it from just running the battery down okay, let me go ahead and do that but, whoa, that's bright and light. So I have to shove that back in there. I want it in my emergency bag. Another thing in my emergency that's going to be just, I'll just leave it in the car. I advise people do whatever kind of kit seems to work for you. A pair of reading glasses. Here's a lighter along with the matches. It's giving you two different ways. Here's just a comb, just a cheap, dinky comb. Here's that knife tool, multi-tool. There's that. I put these little things in there. There's the two of them. There's that corded rope. I didn't use the whole thing because of the size, 
but here's some of that. That's probably 20 foot of the corded rope. Um, for eye hygiene, there's a to-go, which I got this from, I think it was Dollar General for a dollar. How cute is that? So there's your brush, 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 brush. Emergency toothbrush. Stick that back in there. Uh, here is a couple spoons, big spoon, little spoon, a couple forks. You do whatever feels comfortable for you. There is the fingernail clipper set, including tweezers and an emery board. Here's those screwdrivers that I bought the other day. Here is a can opener with magnet. There's a, well, not can opener, sorry, a bottle opener. Although that is like for a can if you want to pour something out. Here's some of these um, bungee, or yeah, bungee cords, just the small ones, like that I got from Dollar Tree. So there's that in there. And I thought, you know, just in case, let me put some little sandwich baggies. So all of this was in there. And I know some people probably could have put even more. I'm going to be working on some others that I probably will give away, but I don't know. And whenever I was at the um, thrift store the other day, I saw this and I thought, this is perfect. Look at this little, it's a knife, metal, knife, fork, and spoon camping set. And it clamp or it goes in nicely together for space and then it comes apart for you to have there's your spoon fork and knife and he was going to just give it to me but it's a Christian thrift store and I don't know about anybody else and it's not that I miss thing but for some of these Christian based, based things they do good work and I said how about I give you a dollar for it that was worth every penny of it for this so I'm very pleased with some of this. Other ideas that would go in other bags or other boxes, maybe these. I just got some small Dollar Tree trash bags. You do your own thing. This was the metal of the first aid kit. Doesn't have as much in it as the other. I found these at a thrift store. They're the corkscrew. There's uh, the bottle opener thing. Here's a knife on there. And I thought, okay, it's a quarter. 25 cent as a quarter, y'all. It's a quarter. <laughs> Same thing with that. I was not even speaking to you. Excuse me. Excuse me, people. And here's another one. So for 50 cent, and I can put one of these tools in each of those boxes. There's all kinds of ideas that you can use. Think outside the box. I did get a little pair of pliers, which I may put in this box, too. I think I can ram it and cram it in there. But I think we ought to, each of us, but that's up to you, sweet peas, um, to consider this as a time that we are starting to get things ready for some uncertain times, even if those uncertain times be weather-related. You do you. I'm going to do me. And in my doing me, I do some of this to probably give to others as well. I like this idea. I can just put it in my car and then forget about it. Forget about it. That's ridiculous. I apologize. I'm as southern as you can get. And here I'm going to pretend like I can do an accent from up north. All right. I'm sorry. Now, here is a scripture alert. Luke 21 verses 23. 5 through 28 and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. 
And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Okay, that came up as one of the daily verses to this Facebook page that I joined, which is King James Version Bible discussions or something like that on Facebook. Here's another one that it made me think of as I'm trying to share some of this information is the Matthew 24, 38. For as in the days, let's see, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. All right, what I wanted to share on my Facebook page, along with that upper passages about the signs and the, the look up and stuff, is I put, pay attention, warnings have been given us throughout the Bible. We can heed them and be prepared, or at least as much as possible that we can be prepared, or we can eat, drink, and be merry and see how that goes for us. We will not like or be ready for what is to come. Not sure of when, but great troubles and tribulation will come. I am so glad my soul is ready. Hope yours is as well. There's nothing should be worrisome or scary about certain of these things that we try to share. I, for one, those of y'all that follow me, I am a Christian. I believe in putting my soul first. And then these are other things that some of us feel led to do. But you do you. Stop letting people make fun of you. I'm, I've learned to embrace that if they're making fun of me, that's that's fine. I have nothing to do with that. I do it for the love of my family and sometimes the love of friends and sometimes for the love of people I don't even know. I'm already starting to pray for people that may get some of these things that I am putting aside. I hope you are as well. Get your soul ready and then do what you feel you need to do. We are not going to all be called necessarily to do this. Um, I'm kind of beyond and above. And if people want to make fun, that's fine. I'm not getting what's what I'm seeing and feeling and believing is not coming from the headlines. The headline fake news. No, it's coming from the word of God. It's coming from, this is the New Testament. I do advise, even if you think you won't need a Bible right now, you might really need it later because everything that we're going through is in the Bible. Everything. So, love you guys. Take care. Happy Sunday. Um, I got a friend of mine to go to church with me today. And for those of y'all, I am not a 100% go to church every time the doors are open but i love jesus i love god i am looking for a home church i do go more than some people think but for those people that want to just press down your throat you better go to church you better go to church you better go to church i'm going to tell you you better go to jesus you better go to the word of god you better go to the bible am i saying don't go to church no i am not in fact i like i said i invited a friend of mine to church today but church isn't the key the bible the bible is the key jesus is the key so not being anti-church at all some people can't go some people have almost a ptsd including that friend today that that went and um that same God that I hear in the church, he's also, when you hear that sermon or watch that sermon, that a lot of these sermons are on Facebook Live or they're on YouTube. That same Jesus that I see in church and that all the regular churchgoers see in church, you can meet him through that same sermon online. We need to stop shoving church down people's throats and how about we encourage jesus into people's hearts because you can be a christian and never go into a church and one day it's going to be against the law to go into a church i'm just going to say am i a prophetess no no i have read the bible though one day there will be no churches so stop 
making people think, yeah, this church is good. You really should. It helps. It helps you find your people. It helps you find encouragement. It's more for the edification of us, the the bonding of we, we, the church members, the 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 Christians. But it is not one of the prerequisites. The gathered together, the assembling together, the Bible even says, and I find it curious now knowing the days that we are in, when two or three or more are gathered together in my name, in prayer and faith believing, there shall I be in the midst. Well, guess what? I do that all the time on Facebook. I do that all the time on YouTube. Did you know that? And you can too. So my God is greater. My Jesus is greater. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.